choosing your favorite griddle meal is like choosing your favorite child. Everyone has one, you're just not supposed to say it out loud. Love you, Mom. Your secret's safe with me. Well, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna pick one. I'm gonna make the whole list. It might ruffle a few feathers. I'm sure you got your own list. This is my list. Top 10 best meals on the griddle. Starting off, hot dogs. If you don't like hot dogs or you're too good for hot dogs, you're probably watching the wrong YouTube channel, okay? This ain't gourmet, this is just griddling. That's all it is. I like hot dogs because I like to eat things that I can do with a crowd, family, friends. This cook, I did all of it for under 20 bucks. It was a year ago, so with inflation and gas prices, it's probably $50 now. At the time, it was under 20 bucks. I did this pack of hot dogs, probably 20 of them. I did some corn with bacon, bacon fried corn like Todd Tobin does, real delicious. Then I also put on some um, chili sauce there for some coney dogs. I also put some beans on there to go with the hot dogs, some peppers and onions. I mean, we, we had the whole thing rolling. It was a great cookout for some hot dogs. Friends, family came over. So that's just one of the things I really enjoy about using the griddle is making a large meal with a lot of different things for friends and family. If a cheeseburger and a grilled cheese had a baby together and raised it in a trailer park, you would end up with a patty melt. I love patty melts. I love making them on the griddle. I like putting my onions on as the griddle warms up so that I can really caramelize them. I mean, low and slow with some butter on these onions. I'm talking taking 15 to 20 minutes to really, really get the caramelization on your onions. Then I'll put down my hamburger patty. I did this one on Texas toast because I just love Texas toast, but sourdough is another great option for patty melts. Rye bread is another great option for patty melts but Texas toast can't go wrong with. So go ahead and put your burger down. You got your onions, you add your cheese, you assemble it all together on your Texas toast, cut it in half and oh, that is some goodness right there. Mm, man, I love me a patty melt. That's why it's number nine. The next one on the list really isn't a cheese steak and it's also not from Philadelphia, but I call it a chicken Philly because that's what makes sense to me. So we're just gonna go with that, huh? Start this thing off with some peppers and onions that are diced up with the magic of the internet. Provolone cheese, soft hoagie bun, chicken breast, diced up again. Add some Italian, Newman's own Italian dressing, R.I.P. Paul, you are a great man. Put the vegetables on the griddle, give them that double spatula toss, living your best griddle life. Down goes the chicken and spread it out thin and then flip it over once you get a nice browning on each one. Make sure each piece is touching individually. Toast the bun, not quite yet. You're gonna have to put that back down for a little bit longer. Then we'll go ahead and bring the peppers and onions in with the chicken, mix them together. Provolone cheese right on top, a little bit of water. Let that melt, oh buddy, that looks good. The cheese steak flip, bun on top, meat on bottom, and oh buddy, talk dirty to me, chicken Philly sandwich. Number seven is a sausage quit. You know what? I really don't know how to pronounce it in French. I'm American. I'm gonna pronounce it how I am as an American. It's croissant, man. It's a croissant, a sausage croissant. Like I'm a hillbilly. Like, hey man, you wanna go down by the creek and have one of them croissant sandwiches from Burger King? That's what it is. It's a croissant sandwich, really, but it's delicious, and I'd highly recommend making it. That's why it's number seven on my list. These turned out real good. I'd recommend them because well, I did them like a smash burger, but with sausage. So you see, I got my little sausage balls, a little oil down, parchment paper, smashed them down. I don't know if this gave extra flavor like a smash burger did, but it did flatten them out and make them really easy to eat for a sandwich. You know how sometimes a regular patty for sausage doesn't work for you. So give it a try. Butter your croissants, toast them. Enough said, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These eggs, I separated the yolks and the whites and then beat them back together. And uh, they actually turned out a little fluffier that way by trying to beat the whites and then fold the yolks back in. But it was a lot of work, so I'm not going to tell you to do it because it was a lot of work. Put some cheese on top of it and then put it on the croissant. Topped it with our smashed sausage patty. Again, that's the takeaway from this. Try to smash some just fresh ground sausage. It worked out real well and you get a nice breakfast sandwich out of it. Number six, I'll just call a cheese steak. I'm not gonna say what part of the country it's from because people from that part of the country get real uppity in particular about if you call it their type of cheese steak. Also, they can just be mean. 
One time at an Eagles game, they threw snowballs at Santa Claus. Look it up, it's a true story. I did this cheesesteak low and slow and I started off with putting these onions down when I turned the griddle on. So I kept that middle burner off and I had the onions just kind of caramelizing and sauteing there and I diced them up. Then I put down the sirloin which I sliced really thin after putting it in the freezer. And so that burner that everything is over is just off. So I did this low and slow rather than hot and fast. Add the onions in with the steak then continue to use my spatula and dough scraper just to keep chopping the meat up. Chop the meat up, let it cook in its juices low and slow. That's what we're looking for. There is the money shot. Look at that beef. Mmm, it's good looking stuff right there. Again, we hit it up with the provolone cheese. Could use cheese whiz, I just use provolone. Soft bun right on top. Let it kind of toast up a little bit and get steamy. And then while the cheese melts, and that is a good looking Ohio cheesesteak. What? It's not really from Ohio. I don't know, that's just where I live. Number five is an Irish fry up, which is great because you got like half of a pig on your griddle for breakfast, you know? It reminds me of my family Easter because we do like a lot of pork when we have Easter and we have Irish background on my uh, dad's side, on my grandmother on that side. So I really enjoy this one. I think you will too. Gives you an excuse to get a lot of pork in you in the morning. Start off this whole hog breakfast with some thick cut bacon three slices, just the way I like it. Then a little sausage or bangers there from Ireland that I twisted together. Beans, who doesn't like baked beans with the breakfast, huh? It's part of a well-balanced breakfast, you know? Yukon gold potatoes, it's an Irish breakfast. Obviously there's gonna be potatoes in there. Got some onions in the background. You can go ahead and put my weight on the potatoes. You'll see why I did that. I always like to put weights on my hash browns, on my potatoes. I just like to make a firm, ooh, look at that golden brown potato. I just like to press them down onto the griddle just to get a better color on them. Then some tomatoes. I don't put a lot of vegetables in my cooks. This one has onions, tomatoes, and mushrooms. So probably should take note of how healthy I'm eating now on the griddle. A little soda bread, put that down on there to get a little nice toast on it. I do like soda bread. This was a great St. Patrick's Day meal. Look at these mushrooms coming along with the tomatoes. Just. Real nice hearty breakfast. Oh, I for almost forgot about the eggs. How could you forget about the eggs? Go ahead and put those down. We're gonna do these sunny side up. Do them in the front where the temperature's lower. And I probably cut that um, burner off there. Pull out the yolks, because I don't, or the whites. I don't want them to still be runny. I want the yolks to be runny, the whites to be cooked all the way through for sunny side up. And once the eggs finally set up and get all the whites done. Look at that Irish breakfast with them beans. Mm, mm, mm. Top of the morning to you. Number four has four ingredients. It is bacon, lettuce, tomato, and egg. Oh, I love a BLT, especially with an egg on it and some cheese. Maybe there's five ingredients, whatever. Who's counting? Doesn't matter. On the Texas toast, I love the Texas toast. I'm not sponsored or paid to say that, but I'd love to be paid to say that. Just throwing it out there. I don't know who watches these things. But definitely, this might be a little controversial, you know, because look, some people may not like the BLT this high on the list, past things like the cheesesteak, but this is my list. Please, feel free, put your list in the comments. I'd love to see what your list is of your favorite things to make on your griddle at home. Mm, start off with some Texas toast and the mayo. And some of you are probably like, Johnny, I watched your other videos. You talk about this BLT in another video, and you talk about Texas toast in that video, and how you want to be sponsored. Well, look at the toast, folks. I love it. I just can a man dream, okay, to get a sponsorship from Texas Toast. That's all I want in my world. Anyways, thick cut bacon, we're flipping it over. Gotta be careful with your thick cut bacon. Uh, it'll cook really, really fast. So just low and slow on that because it'll burn on the outside and still be fatty on the inside. There's our fried egg, a BLT and E. So what the E stands for is egg. Go ahead, flip that. Put the Freedom Cheese right on top. More mayonnaise? Absolutely more mayonnaise. This is how we're living right now. Uh, a little bit of everything bagel seasoning. I love this seasoning. I put it on everything. I'll put it in sour cream and dip chips in it in the middle of the night. Not that you needed to know that, but I will. There goes the egg, the cheese, the bacon, the lettuce, and the tomato. Two cooks in a row with vegetables in it. I'm just knocking it out of the park, but I'm still not gonna start my diet probably till next week. All right, number three, fried rice. It had to be on here. We're getting into the heavy hitters now, right? 
But look, but if I'm talking fried rice, I mean, I want chicken, steak, shrimp, whole kit and caboodle fried rice. Like we're going to Benihana, love it, love it. Speaking of which, I went to Benihana recently with my family. Went over to the manager, was like, hey man, just so you know, if one of your cooks go down, bring in the lefty, huh? I'll step up to the plate for you. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. I was like, um, it's a baseball reference for like calling the bullpen. I, I, I can cook on the flat top. Let me know. I'll come in. I'll, I'll step up. He's like, I'm not letting you cook on the flat top. I was like, maybe you didn't recognize me and kind of, you know, I have this thing on the internet on YouTube. I, I kind of griddle on the flat top. He's like, I was like, Johnny Burnett? He's like, I don't know who that is. I was like, that's me, man. That's me. He's like, I that means nothing to me. I was like, yeah, but it's like, the videos are pretty popular. He goes like, TikTok? I was like, no, not like TikTok. Like YouTube, I already told you YouTube. What do you think, I'm just dancing around in leggings in front of a griddle? No, it's on YouTube. It's like, you know what, I'm just, never mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sit down with my family. One day I'll live the Benihana dream. First off, we're gonna put some oil down on all of the griddle. Just a little layer. Then we're gonna do my garlic, my butter, and some white ends of green onions that I like to saute up. Uh, you could use regular onions. I just have green onions for garnishes, so I also chop off the white parts and just put them down there at the beginning to kind of just saute and get a little bit of flavor with that butter and garlic. Those are two egg rolls I put in the back. They're just frozen egg rolls. I just keep flipping them while I cook the whole meal, and then at the end they're done. They're okay. Uh, they're not bad, but they're not great. Uh, just like put them in the oven. There goes our rice, jasmine rice, about two cups. Start off with some chicken. I was marinated again in Italian dressing and then some steak that I think I just threw in a teriyaki marinade. I didn't really do like a real like elaborate marinade. Just wanted to keep this simple since I was doing three proteins. So chicken, steak, go ahead and separate them out. Make sure everybody's touching. You don't want your meat piled up. Make sure everybody's touching the griddle, gets their own spot. Then we're gonna go ahead and dice up with the double smash on the rice just to make sure because it's been in the fridge overnight. So just gotta make sure to break that up. These are zucchinis that I cut like pickles, so they look like pickle sticks, but they're not pickle sticks. It's just fun to say pickle sticks. I do it like this because they don't cook as fast. If you cut them into like half moons or dice them, they'll cook too quickly. Same thing with the onions, big cuts on the onions, salt, pepper, garlic on everything, just a multi-purpose seasoning. There goes my soy sauce onto the white rice, just until it gets to the color I want, but I don't want to overdo it. People can add more soy sauce at the end. Make a well in the middle of the rice, then my eggs go down. If you do your eggs first, like I did here, then sometimes they'll be burnt and stick to your griddle. And then I had to do the rice afterwards. I didn't know where to put them. So I do the eggs this way. I make the well, I put them in at the end, and then you can just see uh, they just like slowly cook. Also that rice that's been sitting there has lowered the temperature of the griddle. So the eggs don't like burn up right away. So I really like doing this. I'd recommend that egg trick. There goes some sesame oil. That's the finishing oil. I don't put that on until almost at the end. Go ahead and give it another toss here. And I said three proteins, yeah. Shrimp goes last too, because it cooks up in like four minutes. So I'm basically done with the entire cook when I put the shrimp down with just some butter, garlic, a little bit of teriyaki at the end. And that's how you get steak, chicken, shrimp, fried rice with some green onions on top. Who does number two work for? I'll tell you who they work for, in and out five guys, Smash burgers, that's right, number two is a smash burger. Just like all the chains, all the popular burgers across the country, that's why you bought a griddle, to make some smash burgers. All right, start your smash burgers off by toasting your buns. Toast the buns first, because these things cook real fast. These are brioche buns from Aldi, I love Aldi. Little, nice little shout out there for Aldi. There goes my patties, my beef patties, 80-20 beef, about three ounces, loosely packed, salt and pepper on each one, loosely packed because you want some holes when you smash them down. Parchment paper and a weight is the best way to smash them. You can also use your spatula if you'd like, but I find this is the best way is parchment paper and a weight. Look at the holes in there, that's where the juices are cooking through. A little special sauce on there, it's just ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, um, pickle relish, onion and tomato on one grilled onion on mine go ahead and get these burgers up got my can of truth in the corner Ooh, got a nice sear on there shout out to this categories box doing its job look at the sear i got on that one yeah so that's why you press it press it down real soft more of the american cheese going on there love the american cheese it's cheap it's delicious it melts smash burgers 
finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. Well, probably no one's really been waiting for but me because I made the list. But uh, what is my number one favorite meal item to make on the griddle? And some people might consider this a cop out, but it's just diner classic American breakfast. That's it. That's it. I want pancakes with chocolate chips in them, hash browns, maybe home fries, or maybe I just get the frozen hash brown patties like McDonald's has, throw them on there, keep flip, flipping them a couple times. I want to make scrambled eggs for my wife, over easy eggs for me, some bacon, some sausage, plenty of pancakes for my son. I mean, this is why I bought a griddle, to do things a grill can't do. To do things that you would have to normally do inside, but now you can do outside on an easy like Sunday morning in the summertime, keeping your kitchen clean, keeping all the grease and the bacon out of there, and just having a good time with you and the ones that you love. That's why it's my favorite meal on the griddle, because it's a full meal, and I can make it that I can't make on a grill, and I can keep my kitchen clean, and I can make it for my wife, my one and a half year old, and we can eat a breakfast together on Sunday, and really, it just doesn't get much better than that for me. And if you want to see a video of how I make a diner style breakfast, I have a full cook here and then I have a short and condensed one here. So two different versions if you want to see how to make one for your family and the people that you love. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Keep on griddling, friends.